kid, sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid, sit with kid, sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid. Yeah. Sit with kid, sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid, sit with kid, sit with kid. Everybody wants to sit with kid. Yeah. Well, you're going to now. Sit down. This, this is going to be great. Oh, great. That's fine. And you've got to be at work at 8 o'clock? Yes, sir. So you got seven minutes. All right. Perfect. This is your camera. So talk in that microphone. That's your camera when you want to look at the world. What are we talking? Action. Hello, everyone. It's Kit Carson here in front of Angelina's Pizza Hall with the number one pizza shop show on the internet. And as you know me by now, I'm the Earl of Pizza, and I sit here all night long. I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods that walk up and down Duval Street. Tonight I have a gentleman with me. He says he's never been on TV, but we're about to find out who he is and where he's from. Hi, everyone. My name is Al Nori. I have actually moved here from Southern California about a year ago. Love living in Key West. Al? From Southern California. <laughs> yeah, you know, it seems like a made-up story, but let's go with it. Uh, what were you doing in Southern California? I, actually, I was a dive master for a good number of years, working over at uh, several different uh, dive sites there, and I always had a passion to move to Key West. So was that a Mel Fisher dream, or was uh, there any Mel Fisher involved at all? Uh, I'm sure there were some involved, yes. <laughs> but uh, again, I. I've always been a diving, I've mostly been diving since 1987 and I always had, a, again, had a passion to come up to Key West and uh, try some of the dive sites here and I do kind of um, have uh, some, some uh, experience in the past working at caves, like di diving Ooh, at caves. So, that's, uh, you know, I listen. You, you have me right up until you go into a cave, and at that point, I am out. I am not going in there. I, I've seen too many people with no fingers when they try to scratch their way out. No, thank you. I'm done. So, have you done a lot of the sites here? Have you done? Uh, I've actually done several of the dive sites, and I'm How actually you done. Um, I've done a, probably about five or six of the different uh, dive locations. However, I'm actually signing up. Uh, two days ago, I was able to sign up with uh, one of the dive masters here locally. And I do dive uh, during the daytime in the process of uh, kind of becoming like a full-time diver during the daytime here locally and, uh, right on. you know, teaching the dive, uh, dive classes. And uh, being a, the more of a dive master, yes. Right, listen, I, I, <laughs> it's, been, it's been 100 years since I've had my surf, but I'm, I've got to get a dive in again one day. Absolutely. So you stale me. Now let, let's talk about you one more minute. Now, you say Southern California. Where were you born? I was. Oh, this this is going to get really interesting. I was born in overseas Iran, Tehran. I moved. I moved from United States. I mean, from uh, Iran to U.S. in 1978, and I never went back to Iran, which is my native country. And again, I was born in Tehran and uh, been in the United States ever since, but... That was during the Shah? During the Shah, Shah uh, regime of, uh, yes. Yeah. And my pilot, my father was a, a personal pilot uh, for the Shah of Iran. The Shah had three, uh, three pilots, my father along with two other pilots, and in the process of uh, the 1979 regime, uh, the, the other two were assassinated. My dad was the only survivor which uh, we were very fortunate to leave Iran when we did. That's uh, a, an incredible story and an incredible time in history of the world. A lot of people are forgotten about it. It wasn't that long ago, but that was a, a crazy time. And so your family left Tehran and went where? We actually left Iran, Tehran. My father, again, was a Learjet pilot for the Shah, so he was instructed to fly the Learjet which belonged to the Shah of Iran, into Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, and Alabama. in all places, we took, uh, we took political asylum, and the governor Wallace, the ex-governor of Alabama, which goes back many, many, many years ago, was a good friend of the Shah. So he had ma made sure and, and made all the arrangements from when we flew into Birmingham. Uh, obviously, we turned in the jet, and we, with the limousine, we, he took us four hours to a little town called Dothan, Alabama, and that's where I grew up. <laughs> oh, wow. So from Tehran, at the end of the Shah's 
tenure regime, your family defected to That's Birmingham? Birmingham, Alabama, yes. And it was uh, the governor of Alabama, George Wallace. George Wallace, yes. Gave you asylum, and you moved to Dothan, Alabama. Dothan, Alabama, and that's where I grew up. And in the process, I went to uh, Carroll High School, Wallace College, Troy State, and then my father and my rest of my immediate family moved to Southern California after that. And then I went on from there. So That's a crazy story. <laughs> that just doesn't get any crazier than that. But I didn't meet you at Troy. I met you here. Absolutely. I'm actually one of the big fans of Rick's. And I'm one of the, I was very fortunate to come on board about a, about a year ago. Yep. And I love the family, love the team, and everyone here are very, very kind, hard, warm um, people. And we love to party, have a great time. We got the best pizza in town. And uh, okay, so again, uh, I'm part of the family, so okay, I'd uh, love to be here. And uh, yes, well, I'm one of the bouncers. Uh, and, and, and when I met him, I, I immediately knew there was a story in you that I needed to hear. And he's become a good friend of mine and definitely one of the family of, of Rick's. And for that, we are grateful. And I know you've got one minute to get to work. So before yes, that, sir. I got one question. If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? Angelitos, baby. <laughs> You got to come here. It's the best pizza in town. You can't go wrong. So, uh, you, thanks for having I'm me on. This Michael. You go to work. You thanks go to work. Thanks for having now. me on. <laughs> hopefully, I, hopefully, I did okay. You did fantastic. <laughs> so, it's the Earl of Pizza Sand, everyone. Thank you for viewing. Please share. And as always, subscribe to Sit with Kid on YouTube. Comments are welcome. Thank you and have a great evening. Bye. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. I said, sit with Kit, sit with Kit. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. Sit with Kit, starring the Earl of Pizza himself, the number one pizza shop show on the internet. Prove me wrong. Join Kit and his celebrity guests from Angelina's Pizzeria on Duval Street in Key West where the fun never stops. Sit back, relax, and laugh. You never know who's going to show up for Sit with Kit.